Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can get around the Netflix ban that you may be receiving on your laptop, smart TV, or smartphone device, like this one that I'm receiving on my laptop right now. And also in this video, guys, I'm going to be playing a little bit of Netflix in real time when connected to the American-based version of Netflix, just so you guys can see that this method is 100% working. Let's get started. So as you can see guys, I'm over here on my laptop and I've gone to go ahead and connect to the American version of Netflix as I'm actually located outside of the country. And I've gone ahead and connected to a free VPN and I've tried to kind of watch um, some TV shows and movies on the platform. So the free VPN actually does allow me to change my location and see all the different TV shows and movies available. But as soon as I try to play a piece of content, Netflix kind of detects I am using a VPN and I get this error message saying, pardon the interruption, you seem to be using an ad blocker or proxy. Um, so this is an incredibly frustrating situation and this is by far one of the most popular requests and comments that I get on my YouTube channel and how to get around this. So there's pretty much two main issues why you're most likely seeing this kind of error. The first one is that you may be using a free VPN. And Netflix has actually really kind of cramped down and locked down on these free VPN services as a lot of the licensing holders of the content uh, which is available in all the different countries have actually forced Netflix to actually go ahead and really kind of crack down on VPN providers. So a lot of the VPN providers, they unfortunately can't stay one step ahead of um, Netflix as they simply don't have the resources um, to do that. And the second issue that may be causing this interruption is that even though you are using maybe a premium VPN, certain locations actually might be blocked on that provider as depending on the service that you do go with, only um, a certain amount of locations are accessible or alternatively, the server that you are trying to connect to actually might have been blocked. Um, so with a lot of VPN providers, they literally have thousands of servers around the world. And in some instances, um, some individual servers may be blocked. So in this instance, you actually might have to connect to a kind of another server in that location. And this usually does get you around any issues that you may be encountering or unfortunately, it actually might be the VPN service that you are using as certain locations are just simply blocked. Okay guys, so when it comes to bypassing this error message, one of the best ways I've found to do this is actually by investing in a really great VPN. Um, so from my own personal experience, I have found NordVPN, ExpressVPN, IPVanish, and also Surfshark to be the most reliable and consistent at allowing me to bypass um, the Netflix restrictions and not getting this error message. And they have allowed me to access the American version, Australian, UK, Spanish, and the Japanese version, and also the Canadian as well. Um, so if you are looking to get started with any of these providers, I'll have discount links down below in the video description. Uh, so the VPN I'm going to be using to bypass um, the Netflix uh, ban notification is NordVPN. So I've already gone ahead and logged into my own personal account. And now I'm just going to go and search for the United States click on that location, and this will automatically go ahead and connect me to the fastest server um, that NordVPN can find in America. And like I said earlier on, if you are using a premium VPN and you're still getting this error message, then like I said, you can click on the actual location. So I'll click on these three dots, and then I can go and select a certain server or even uh, location. So if I click on servers, as you can see here, um, guys, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of servers to pick from. So if the one that I'm using is currently not working, so whether it's got banned or maybe there's too many people on it, then simply all I have to do is go ahead and click on a different location. So once this is highlighted in green, this just lets me know that I'm now connected to an American-based server. So now I'll go back to Netflix and this should now load me onto the American version of Netflix. And as you can see guys, um, we've got the notification here saying that this um, movie is the top four in the US today. So this lets me know that I actually am on the American version of Netflix. So now I'll go and search for a TV show uh, called The Office, um, which isn't available in my location. And I believe it's only available in the United States and a handful of other countries. So as you can see guys, I'm now able to go ahead and search for um, additional TV shows and movies that can only be found 
on the American version of Netflix. Um, so I've got The Office, uh, Parks and Recreation, The IT Crowd, and the list pretty much does go on. So what I'm going to do is now go play a little bit of this TV show in real time, as a lot of VPNs do allow you to get this far, but as soon as you try to play a piece of content, um, Netflix actually detects you are using one. So I really wanna show you guys this in real time, and just to show you that this method is actually working and you actually can bypass the Netflix ban. So I'll just go ahead and click on this one. And again, guys, this will be in real time with no edits. And as you can see, that's now loading with no issues whatsoever. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully this video has allowed you to kind of get some tips and tricks on how you can bypass the Netflix ban. And again, if you are looking to get started with any of the providers I've mentioned in this video, you can check out the discount links down below in the video description. And also guys, if this video has helped you in any way, shape or form, then please smash that like button. And also if you have any questions or comments about VPNs, Netflix, accessing all the different versions of content, then feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. So as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.